Top of the morning to all you beautiful people. On today's episode of 46 Garage, lo and behold, we have another Mercedes Benz here. Uh, this particular Mercedes is a 2008 ML63 AMG. Real nice SUV, beautiful sounding engine. Uh, this customer complained about uh, noisy power steering. Uh, it's also got a couple vacuum leaks, so what we're going to go ahead and do today is uh, replace all the serpentine belts. We've got a new power steering pump, a new power steering reservoir. Uh, we're going to take a look at the vacuum leaks. This customer complains about a little bit of a high idle after he drives it for a little while. So let's take a look at the parts bench, see what kind of parts we got for this thing. And uh, let's take it from there. Now with the bottom cover off, right beside the crankshaft pulley, you're going to put a 17 mil socket on the hex there and turn the wrench counterclockwise to remove your belt. Alright guys, so view from the bottom, you're looking at the AC compressor. We're going to go ahead and remove these two bolts that hold the compressor of the engine. Those are uh, E12 bolts. You can get your electric ratchet with an extension on there or just do it manually with the ratchet. All right, so you can see the ratchet up there. The top bolt is a little bit tighter, but it's really, sorry, you can't see it that well with my light in the way. It's really not impossible. You see, I got a short three inch extension on there. Again, that was a E12, Edward 12. A little bit tough to see, but there's a third bolt for the AC compressor. Uh, just near the rear of it, kind of midway up the compressor. You're going to want to remove that guy too. And uh, then we should be able to swing the compressor out of the way a little bit. As you can see, the belt is off the power steering pump. A little bit better view, kind of, looks like it on my end, of getting that third bolt out again. Nice little three inch extension, E12 on the back. This job is sure tricky to get the GoPro in there, but those front two uh, mounting bolts for the pump are T45s, kind of right where my light is. Uh, so you can put your socket on there. I got a deep socket on there. I'm going to pull them off right now. And then I'm going to start working on the back. There's actually three on the back. So those are also uh, internal Torx drive. Not sure the size on the back ones, but we'll remove these front ones first.
All right, guys, it's back together, reservoir's in. We're about to put the fender liner back in here. One of the most important parts of this job is make sure you grab yourself a burrito. And uh, what we're gonna do is fill the reservoir up, crank the wheel back and forth about 30 times, nice and slow, and then we're gonna fire it up, see how this thing sounds. Okay guys, that wraps up the ML63. We got the pump changed, we got the fluid reservoir changed, we got the serpentine belt changed, and we got uh, new fluid in there. So, no more whiny pump. We bled the system, uh, basically with the key off, unlocking the steering column, cycling the wheel back and forth about 30 times each way. Super quiet now, no issues. Gonna take it for a quick test drive. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you on the flip side, guys. Thank you very much.